because as a willful dancer, a dancer who practiced all my life control over my own body, and I had this idea that I was in charge of my body, that I controlled it, and then by extension in a way, I could control my destiny. I could control my life, I could control things. And when I got pregnant and had a kid, I realized that was not true. And for the first time, really giving birth, it, it really hit home to me that I was controlled by nature. And nature worked through me, and I wasn't in control at all. So something about that was a conundrum for me, something that I needed to work on and practice and explore in the studio and try and understand. So the earliest place we started in terms of research, and building a dance is a lot about research, you guys. This is an interesting part of building a dance. You're not just building phrases or practicing moves or trying to work on your technique. You're asking questions in the studio and you're trying to understand stuff through research the way any other form, business, science, anything in the world is trying to solve problems and understand things through research. We do the same thing. So part of the, what we started to explore was from my perspective, what did it look like in the body to listen and absorb and be receptive toward outside influences? And what did it look like to cause things or influence the outcome or exert your will? So states of willlessness or willfulness? And that's an interesting question to ask yourself. Do you live in a state of willfulness? Are you constantly trying to affect things around you or do you let them happen to you? what's there in your very basic personality. Or maybe day to day that changes, who knows. So we started playing with these different ideas about listening versus talking, to put it really simply. And I'm gonna show you now a little bit of what we do in the Studio 2 research. And this is backtracking for the dancers because we've landed in an evening length work that has all kinds of complex ideas in it. But when we first started, 